so this is part three and basically I'm going to start off by getting rid of all this geometry and undoing what I did at the end of the last tutorial because I changed my mind but uh, we're going to make a window box here that sort of sticks out and then we're going to make a bunch of windows that we can place around the outside of basically around the outside and then scale them a little bit and have just on the porch have slightly smaller versions of windows so I guess to begin what we're going to want to do is go to editable poly and select all these polygons including these ones underneath and delete then we're going to want to go and select border and once we deselect all of these what we're going to do is we're going to actually align all of this along the y-axis but first what we're going to have to do is pick a random vert not particularly random vert but one of the ones that are already basically on the y-axis it's where we want it to be because once we align all these edges that we've selected um, these ones here are out a bit, these ones here are in a bit so they're going to all meet somewhere in the middle so what we're going to do is we align and then we have to move it back so now everything's you know perpendicular with the full ground again all pretty full and now what we're going to want to do is under editable poly we're going to select these edges and bridge them so we can do these two at once and this part's a little bit different because we can do it with border. Now we can cap that, but then what we need to do is we need to cut across here to undo some stuff. Now hopefully you remember that what I was saying about having more than four sides in a polygon isn't really good. Uh, before we had these two parts here so that was two sides right there, and then three, four, five, six, and it would have been seven sided polygon, which really wouldn't have worked well. So this now slightly more than what we should have. So what we're just going to do is just going to cut. But we won't do that now, we'll do that later. But essentially what we want to do is uh, cut. In fact, inset might even work. Go into inset. And then what we're going to do is slice. And so what we've done, what we're doing is this is going to be the top of the window box. So we'll just scale that in a little bit more, which we can't because we've got slice open. So we'll scale that, sit it where we want, and then we shall slice. Now you can see, even though we can't see perfectly where it's lining up. There's actually a line there. So we know where it's going to slice once it happens. So we'll slice. We'll OK that. And sure that fucks up all the geometry but we can fix that later. So what we need to do now is make this all line up. So I'm going to grab this vert. I'm going to save its Z position. And then we're going to fact we'll delete those we'll grab this edge and we'll give it the same Z position and now what we actually need to do is connect actually we need three segments fortunately this um, little dialog box won't actually show up but what we're doing is I've done connect but I'm giving it th two segments so I'm cutting it twice, basically. And so now we have two segments here, which will then line up with this area and create the window box that we want. So we'll select all of this. And we'll bring that out. So that's starting to look right. So we're going to go... Uh-huh. Let's try and select the edge we actually want. And what we're going to do 
this one select this edge and this edge bridge now unfortunately because these are a bit weird we're going to have to just cap them at the moment but we can come back and fix that later so we'll cap that and then what we'll do is um, we can actually move this vert up and, and make some of the geometry less retarded now and we'll weld that Now pretty much what we're going to do is grab all this, extrude it a little bit, and then scale it inwards. Let's kind of look like the window box we wanted, but we'll uh, bring this out a bit. So I'm getting pretty happy with that. Now what we're going to do is grab these verts, save the Y position, and then this edge, paste the Y position, and we're going to weld those four verts to make two verts. So now that's connected and it's starting to look really nice. Um, what we could probably do is get rid of this whole segment here, but we're not going to do that just yet, because what we should do is uh, polygon and what we're going to do is because that's just sort of weird how it comes out we've got this um, segment here we're going to make that happen all the way around so what we're actually going to do is there's two ways we can do it I'm going to do it probably the worser of the two but it'll be a learning experience anyway so what we're going to do is we're going to cut from under vert, we're going to cut from here up and then here. Hopefully, that's kind of straight. What we need to do actually is get rid of those lines. So, what we're doing now is we're going to, under vertex mode, we're going to cut and make it kind of look right. Now what we can do is we grab this vert here, exposition, exposition is that, that we can grab these two and set the exposition to be the same and that should align it all perfectly. In fact, it should have the same exposition just so that sets that so that um, lines up better and it's actually square. And now the exposition should be the same, which it is which that one isn't. Okay, so what we're going to do is this needs to come in and that can go up a little bit and then we'll just cut that across you know, without that dialog box getting in our way. So we'll cut up there to make it nice happy geometry again. And in fact we'll do one more cut now it's starting to look proper again. And now what we'll do, um, in fact, if we grab these verts and get their z position, then these edges, paste the z position, the poly count just a little bit more. In fact, we'll probably do the same with these ones. Oop. I'll bring that out a little bit. And we're fixing up those verts again. And this vert uh, I see what I did. That's not so good. We'll weld those. Doesn't want to weld because they're not close enough, so we'll just collapse it because that gets the same effect. And we need to make sure it's got the same X position so it looks, basically, so it looks nice and I feel better about it. So now we've got our window box here, 
And basically, we're going to have a wide window here. In fact, that whole thing's probably a bit wider than we want. A wider window there. And this is going to be roofing just like up here. So this is pretty much how the texture, the roof tile texture is going to look. It will go across these pieces here. And what have we got? Ten and a half minutes. All right. So we extrude this out. Now it's the edge of the roof, and it doesn't need to stick out that much. That's the edge of the roof. That's starting to look proper again. And next, what we're going to do is uh, we've got time to make windows. All right. So a window um, I like to do is make a tube with one height segment, and we do four sides. So essentially, we're making a square. And then what we do, editable poly, invert, we'll rotate it 45 that way, not that way, 45 that way, and we'll bring it, let's bring it up. So that's essentially going to be the frame. But what we want to do is it needs to be taller. In fact, if we scale it, then this point, if we scale it, then this top area here gets, see how it gets a lot taller than what we want? So we're just going to grab those verts and move it up. That's about the sort of shape we want for our window. In fact, we probably want it a bit wider than that. And then what we're going to do is scale this all down uniform. And front, zoom in a bit. Now we want it to intersect but not too much, just so it doesn't leave a gap. And then what we're going to do is grab these verts and bring them down. And then we're going to clone this, you know, actually clicking on the right thing. So shift and then move it up. And we want to make that about even. So we'll do that again. There we go, that's starting to look a bit better. And so now what we have is, in fact, we'll shrink these in a little bit and bring this out a little bit. So now what we have is a window. stick out even more. So now have a window and we can position these all around the outside. In fact what we can do is we can collapse that So I'm basically just going to place these windows and that'll be it. So now we have all these um, windows. We can now move on to a door and some steps and then we'll start UV mapping.